So today is December 13th and Lily and I are going to share with you the devotion from Jesus Calling today, along with the scriptures that are associated with it. Um, today's devotion reads, take time to be holy. The word holy does not mean goody goody. It means set apart for sacred use. That is what these quiet moments in my presence are accomplishing within you. As you focus your mind and heart on me, you are being transformed, recreated into the one I designed you to be. This process requires blocks of time set aside for communion with me. The benefits of this practice are limitless. Emotional and physical healing are enhanced by your soaking in the light of my presence. You experience a nearness to me that strengthens your faith and fills you with peace. You open yourself up to receive the many blessings that I have prepared for you. You become a cleansed temple of my Holy Spirit, who is able to do in and through you immeasurably more than you could ask or imagine. These are just some of the benefits of being still in my presence. What a wonderful promise that is, that we can do things that are immeasurable and that we could never even imagine we'd be able to accomplish them through uh, the Holy Spirit. So the first scripture I'd like to share with you is in the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter Second uh, Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 10, which reads, When he shall come to be glorified in his saints, and to be admired in all them that believe, because our testimony among you was believed in that day. We are all part of this great work of salvation. And the war that we're fighting is the war uh, between good and evil. And the weapons that we'll use to fight are our words. How about that? The next scripture I'd like to read to you is one of my favorites. It's in Psalm 27, verse 4, which reads, One thing I have desired of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord for all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in His temple. There's something very beautiful about being in the presence of the Lord, and I'm very grateful for the peace that He gives us. The next scripture I'd like to share with you is in 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 6, verse 19. Which reads, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? My wife, she told me one time, she said, Nick, um, imagine your body being like mine is, pregnant, because she was pregnant at the time. And she said, and you have this little baby inside of you. You got to be careful what you put in it. Well, we have God the Holy Ghost inside of us and we have to be careful what we are putting into our mind so that our spirit may be nourished. And the last scripture I'd like to read is Ephesians 3.20 which says, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Again, it references the power within us. If you only knew your divine potential, how glorious would that day be? I don't even know my complete divine potential. But if we did, oh my goodness. And, and we will eventually, uh, when Christ comes down and rules and, and, and we are in his presence, we, we will know all of our capabilities. Right now, we are to him as she is to me curious, just feeling around, you know, just getting started. You know, I would venture to say that even by the time we're 50, 60 years old, we're not much more mature spiritually than she is physically. I bear my testimony that the Spirit of God lives within you. Treat Him right. Have a wonderful day.